फाइव सेकेंड्स टू गो स्टार्ट माई डियर जवान्स वी शैल बी सेलिब्रेटिंग आवर सेवेंटी एथ इंडिपेंडेंस डे टमोरो ऑन दिस ओकेजन आई एक्सटेंड माई हार्टीएसट ग्रीटिंग्स एंड बेस्ट विशेज टू ईच वन ऑफ यू सर्विंग इन दी आर्म्ड फोर्सिस आई एक्सटेंड माई ग्रीटिंग्स टू ओल्ड सर्विंग पर्सोनल एज वेल एज एक्स सर्विस मैन ऑफ द आर्मी नेवी एयरफोर्स एंड द कोस्ट गार्ड I also extend my best wishes to the family members of our armed forces personnel many of whom are deployed far from their homes on this auspicious occasion my thoughts are with the near and dear ones of all those who laid down their lives protecting our nation we are forever indebted to them for their supreme sacrifice since the armed forces are at the forefront of our nation's defense i assure you that the government will do all that is necessary to keep your morale high and to meet your functional requirements recently one an32 aircraft which was on way to port blair went missing in bay of bengal it was a courier service operated by IAF from Tambaram to Port Blair thrice a week the aircraft had a crew of 6 and was carrying 23 defense service personnel immediately on receipt of information that the aircraft is missing resources were deployed from navy air force and coast guard for search and rescue operations all the next of kin of crew and passengers on board are being informed and regular updates on the search operations are being given to them by nominated officials inputs from all sources are being thoroughly investigated by ships and aircraft but friends it is very unfortunate that no concrete evidence with respect to missing aircraft has emerged so far in this time of uncertainty we share the pain of families of the defense personnel who were on board and i assure you that the government is making all possible efforts to locate the missing aircraft your strong and daring response against terrorists who came fully armed from across the border to attack the pathan court air base was an inspiration to the nation i commend the efforts put in by our air warriors and security forces to thwart this attack i deeply mourn the martyrdom of seven of our brave hearts who laid down their lives for the cause of the nation in the counter action our armed forces have shown utmost restraint in tackling terrorists in the kashmir valley despite grave provocations you have also effectively repulsed all cease fire violations in jammu and kashmir from across the border and attempts of terrorists to infiltrate into the country with nefarious designs as in the past you have been in the forefront of the relief and rescue operations both in india and abroad the armed forces provided succor to the flood victims of chennai and gujarat led the evacuation of indian and foreign nationals from far away south sudan as also provided support to neighboring cyclone hit sri lanka you helped others without caring for your own comfort to provide food medicines and medical care the nation also watched your daring efforts to douse the massive forest fires in the hills of uttarakhand my special thanks to you for these efforts my dear jawans it has been a consistent endeavor of the government 
to work towards the welfare and well-being of ex servicemen our government has taken the historic decision to implement one rank one pension in november last year and fulfilled the long standing demand of the defense forces personnel benefiting over 20 lakh ex servicemen pensioners i am happy to inform that rupees 3819.33 crores have already been distributed to 18 lakh 90635 defense forces pensioners towards OROP areas revised pension our government is taking special measures to provide quality and affordable medicare to ex servicemen and their dependents as part of health care reforms we have completely digitized the ex servicemen contributory health scheme a total of over 47 lakhs beneficiaries have been covered under echs as of now the scheme is being run through 28 regional centers a total of 1445 civil hospitals have been empaneled to provide cashless treatment to echs beneficiaries government is also taking several steps for the welfare of ex servicemen and their families from 1st april this year the marriage grant for up to two daughters of ex servicemen has been revised from rupees 16000 to rupees 50000 the number of scholarships under prime minister's scholarship scheme has been raised from 4000 to 5500 with effect from academic year 2015-2016 to be shared equally between boys and girls the scheme aims at promoting higher technical and professional education among the wards of ex servicemen ex coast guard stop